some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to nowhere in particular, but into the deranged mentality of the average sovereign citizen. And this Slavtard in particular seems to believe that he is more educated and better than everybody else around him. Well, now you're just putting yourself way too far up on a pedestal considering most Slavtards that I've seen, if not all of them, are dumber than a bag of hammers. And the best part about this Slavtard is he claims to be going to law school. Makes me wonder what law school he's going to. Is it a real one or a actual Slavtard one? At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You won't believe this, man. I just didn't realize that I'm awesome. I'm better than you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, dude. We shall soon see how well you hold up against scrutiny. What's up, man? How you feeling today? Good, I know. Hey, you know what a, a sovereign citizen is? Yep. Yeah, that's what I am. Oh, that's wonderful that you could admit to being a lead paint chip eater. You know, admitting that you have a problem is the first step to recovery. But in the case of Sovtards, I don't think there is a recovery process. Well, none that I'm aware of, anyway. Hey, I'm just curious, man. Um, how come um, you guys don't uh, respect our rights? Sorry? Yeah, how come the police... Yeah, I'm a law student, by the way, so I've learned a lot about the law, actually. Okay, so you say you're a law school student. Can you demonstrate any of your knowledge that you have obtained while in your residency at your college? So we can determine that. Um, city police, by the way, are all fraudulent. All of them. Um, actually, we're only supposed to respect the sheriffs because the city polices are basically just corporations. Well, oh, come on now, Softard. You were supposed to impress me with your vast knowledge of the law, but you have failed me already. I mean, you can't even get basic definitions right. How are you a law student again? You know that, right? And they don't even respect our rights at all. That's why they can arrest people for victimless crimes, like traffic shit or drug cases, whatever. Uh, yeah, spouting off the standard Sovtard victimless crimes uh, spiel, yeah, you're definitely not a law school student. I mean, if you were actually a law school student in the United States, you would understand that the Tenth Amendment allows the states to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, which leads up to the laws that were created to control the sale and distribution of narcotics throughout the United States, and the standard traffic laws throughout each state. I'm guessing that you skipped out on those classes when they were teaching the Tenth Amendment and anything associated with it. Yeah, you were probably out uh, selecting your favorite flavor of liquid crayons. See, um, I'm a constitutionalist, man. I'm a real American. <laughs> You know, uh, a real one that's actually from here, that believes in all of our Founding Fathers' actual foundation that happened a long time ago, you know? So I'm just trying to understand why people like you that know this stuff aren't actually exposing the truth. Because are you rich? I don't think so, because you work for Amtrak. So I know you're not rich. So basically what these city places are doing, they're protecting the rich people and f***ing over all the middle class and the, like people like you, just f***ing you guys over. You know, I'm just, cur I'm not, I'm not just curious, you know uh, Abraham Lincoln, right? Okay, so did you know that he didn't actually free all the slaves? Did you know that? I learned that in my class. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's called the Union. He didn't free the slaves from the Union. Do you know what that is? Right, so basically, the union is still slave labor. What in the hell are you talking about? 
None of what you're saying makes any logical sense at all. But then again, I am not exactly a lead paint chip eater, so uh, I guess it would make sense if I did that. But no, I am not going to go ahead and consume the copious amounts of lead paint chips that would be needed to understand this BS. That's what that is. It's slave labor. Are you aware of that? Do your research, man. Abraham Lincoln did not free all the slaves. So everyone working for the union is a slave, working slave labor, because these rich people are billionaires, billionaires, compared to your maybe five figures, possibly six figures a year, which ain't shit, dude, compared to what they're making. You understand that? So how come you don't expose the truth, man? Why don't you do that? I'm going to law school just to expose the truth. I'm not working with them. I'm working against them, because it's sick. It's disgusting. I bet you if all these poor people actually had money, they wouldn't commit crimes. They wouldn't be robbing people. I think you are overgeneralizing the issue with crime. You should really take some criminology courses. But then again, uh, since you're a soft tard and overgeneralizing this much, I don't think that'll be helpful for you. You know what I mean? It just It's because of where they're at. Poverty, desperation is what leads them to do violent stuff. But if there actually was opportunity for people to actually better their lives, which they don't want, they want the married people stupid and not informed, it's sad, man. They took out cursive in school. Uh, not exactly. Uh, the schools I've worked at uh, do teach cursive. It's just not as heavily emphasized as it once was. And if you really want to learn cursive, you can go onto YouTube or other resources and learn it. It's quite easy to do. The resources are there. They're not trying to hide them from you. It's just that you're too stupid to go look for them. What does that tell you? They don't want you to know or understand how to read the Constitution, man. That's f***ed up, dude. If you ask a lot of these younger generations what the Bill of Rights is, do you know what they're going to tell you? No idea what that is. People forgot about their rights, man. Yeah, he didn't exactly demonstrate his knowledge on the law, but he did demonstrate his ability to regurgitate soft-tard garbage. Now let's watch him do a man-on-the-street interview with people at a local Walmart as he asks them about the Bill of Rights and also spewing off that people who shop at Walmart are not intelligent while those who shop at Target are intelligent. So you know, <laughs> I'm at Walmart. You know I gotta make a video at Walmart asking these people if they know their rights because I know they don't. I mean, I was at smart stores like Target, you know? People that shop at Target are smart. Um, Walmart is for like dumb people or something. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes sir. I bet they regret that. I don't shop at Walmart. I shop at Target because uh, Target is for smart people. Um, yeah, Walmart is stupid. <laughs> so let's go find out if anybody knows their f rights. Because <laughs> I'm sure they don't. <sighs> Here, we're going to ask this. We're going to ask these guys. Hey, excuse me. What's the Bill of Rights? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, I know. In a short, it's essentially the first ten amendments within the Constitution, including... Um, yeah, I don't think you know them either, considering all the BS you spouted out in the previous segments of this video. Do you know what that is? Is it yes or no? I guess not. <laughs> wow. Okay.
Hey, excuse me, guys. Do you guys know what the Bill of Rights is? What is it? What is it? What is it? I just want to answer. I said the Bill of Rights is part of our Constitution? It's, yeah, part of it. So you need to take that out of here. Yeah, I can. Hey, excuse me. I have a question to ask you. Do you yes. know what the Bill of Rights is? The Bill of Rights? Yes, what is it? I want to know if you know it. No. It's sad. So as I said, you cannot do that in here. Uh, that's I called can, solicitation. You cannot I'm, solicit. I'm asking people questions. Okay, well that's solicitation. That's not you can't do so, it here. Soliciting is selling something. I'm not selling anything. You cannot do what you're doing right now. I'm you're not sold. selling anything. I do not care. You have to leave with that. I'm not selling leave anything. Leave our customers alone. I'm not selling anything, you dude. You're not soliciting. That's, that's selling. No, I'm not selling no, anything. Not. Get your dictionary. Google that. Google solicitation. Oh, I will. And he was kicked out of the Walmart. For a guy that claims to be smarter than everybody else and better than everybody else, well, he sure as hell proved that he was one of the dumbest people you could ever meet. He did not show us his knowledge of the law, but he did show us his ability to regurgitate the standard soft hard bullshit rhetoric. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Though.